With this next section, we're going to combine a few things as a little technical exercise using the histogram, exposure metering, and what full flash does. It's going to be TTL full flash, but with this, I want to pull together a whole bunch of things for us that it, hopefully it all makes sense as a whole. Now, we're standing right here close to a window, so we've got a window light streaming in. So with Anlisa looking at the window, just kind of off over there, we're getting the classic window lit shot. So we've got that gradient of light there across her cheek, beautiful light spilling in her face. You cannot get better light than that. It looks fantastic. Looking straight at the camera, even more. Looking straight at the camera, we now get more, more light on the side than that side. We have a fairly dramatic light fall off. Now in this studio here, there's white walls, so there's a lot of light spilling back, but quite often we're working inside an area where the inside of the room goes very dark and it becomes very contrasty. You even get something that looks like split lighting with a lot of light streaming in and the side going very dark. And that's what we're going to fix with a bit of full flash, just lifting the contrast on that side. Okay, here's what we do. Now, a camera's meter has no idea of what you're pointing it at. White tones, dark tones, black, any shade of gray in between. All that your camera's going to do is expose for your subject as if it's gray. So the mixture of tones, like uh, your subjects against a uh, inner city scene, there's enough dark tones, brighter tones, that your camera's meter will average it out and get you to pretty much spot on metering. If there are very, a lot of very, very bright areas, it'll fool the meter. A lot of very dark, dark areas will fool the meter. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the white of Annalise's shirt here as my reference point to place my tonal values exactly on the histogram and get exact specific exposure metering for the shirt. All the other tones will then fall into place. So with Annalise there, her body slightly angled towards the light, turn your body even a little more towards the light. I can meter off the white and I can place it on my uh, camera's built-in meter. If I zero my needle, the white will be gray. So what I want is point my camera just at the white and get that tonal value about a stop and a third or one and two thirds stop over zero. Now that's five little clicks over zero. So in this case with a Nikon D3, I know that four clicks over zero, one and a third stops over zero will get me there where white will give me a tonal placement right at the edge of the histogram. So just doing a test shot there of the white, I can see what it looks like. And the histogram says the exposure is perfect. So Lisa, just turn your gaze a little more towards me, but out the window, turn your head a little bit more. So now I've got the correct exposure for the white, so now the skin and everything else will be absolutely perfect. And I have beautiful light on her. So just looking out the window again, so now you can see the gradient of light across her cheek there from the brighter areas to the darker areas. But getting my exposure metering correct for the white, all the other tones will fall into place. And I've got beautiful light falling on her face. But looking straight at the camera, I now have far too much contrast there. And this is what I'm going to fix up with full flash. So I'm going to do a sequence of photographs here. Uh, no flash, and then minus three stops, minus two stops, minus one stop, all the way up to zero, and maybe even plus one and see what that looks like. And I'm just bouncing my flash into the room, off to the side. So my on-camera flash is now just pointing somewhere off into the room there, and is giving enough light back to lift the shadow on the side. So a sequence of photographs. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, Anissa, straight at the camera. Okay, just keep very still. This is gonna be a repetitive sequence of photographs. No flash. Minus three. And then minus two. And then minus one. And then zero. And as we expect now, looking through the sequence of images, the shaded, shaded area is starting to lift up. And I'm looking at plus one. Now I'm going to plus one because all the bright tones there 
we'll pull the metering down a little bit. So at plus one, we're probably going to get a very even light from left to right. Beautiful, it looks very good. Now in this case, there is no right or wrong. It is now a matter of choice as to how much full flash you add to it.